Hi, I'm Jason England for Cosmos Magazine. Today I want to show you one of my favorite puzzle slash magic tricks slash uh, geometric curiosities of all time. There's actually a, an entire family of these. I refer to them as geometric vanishes because the method behind these magic tricks or puzzles or whatever you want to call them is uh, essentially geometry. Uh, through quirks of geometry, we can do some pretty amazing things. And uh, a couple of these different puzzles that I have here all basically do the same thing. And the idea behind these puzzles is that by rearranging the pieces of wood in this frame, you can actually add or subtract some extra pieces that usually come along with the puzzle. Believe it or not, all of these pieces and these two pieces will all fit inside of that frame. Uh, there's a, an entire family of these puzzles. In fact, here's a nice Japanese puzzle made out of plastic where you can rearrange the pieces in this frame and you can actually add a couple of extra pieces. But of all of these, and by the way, they all work on slight, uh, through slightly different uh, methodologies, although geometry is a part of all of them. This is probably my favorite of them all. It was invented by a man named Winston Freer and it works just like the others. You take pieces that fit pretty snugly into an existing frame and through the magic of geometry we can add a couple of extra pieces. I'll show you how this works. Here we have a, uh, a piece uh, or a frame, an old frame out of a picture frame, and we've got seven pieces in here. That's a one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven differently shaped pieces. And you'll notice that the pieces have these lines on them, this little grid line separating them into uh, 63 sections. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine down, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across. Seven times nine, of course, is 63. So here's how the puzzle works. I'm going to dump these guys out of there, and we'll set a few of them aside, like so. And let's see what we can do here. I'm going to rearrange these pieces. This is the original arrangement, like this. We don't need these for a second. And if we just move a piece like this, a couple pieces, move them over to here, move the seven to here, notice we get an empty space here. And that's, of course, where the eight would fit into the puzzle. Now the lines no longer match up because I've been moving things around, but the interesting part is the entire puzzle, including this eighth piece, will still fit nicely into the frame. If we do that one more time, if we actually move these pieces around in a different pattern, believe it or not, we can get room through the power of geometry for a ninth piece. Once again, the lines don't match up exactly right because we've moved things around, but the beauty of it is it all fits snugly inside the frame. Like I said, this was invented by a magician named Winston Freer. Winston Freer was a bit of a genius, also a little bit of a practical joker from time to time. Notice as I put these pieces back like so, well, what do you know? There's eight, there's nine, believe it or not, we've got room for a tenth piece to fit in to Mr. Freer's geometric puzzle. And if you remember when we started, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares down, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares across, seven times nine, I believe is still 63. Anyway, Hope you guys enjoy that little bit of uh, geometric wizardry. I'm Jason England for Cosmos Magazine. Thanks for watching.